Hi everyone, welcome back to Lost Judgment, a very difficult episode that we had last time. We got through, maybe not completely emotionally intact, the last episode where Sawa Sensei was killed. It completely caught me off guard and I am very upset. All she wanted was to teach and help students and she was plagued by these feelings of guilt and her story is just so sad, so much pain and then it just ended so abruptly. We have to press on, we have to find out why she had to die. What is so important that needs to be kept a secret? And we need to get to the bottom of this. So let's keep going with today's episode. Hey, welcome back, Tak. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I gave the yearbook I took from her room yesterday to Sukumo. Why don't you check it out later, Yagami-san? Oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh, I still can't wrap my head around what I saw last night. We have to avenge Sawa-sensei. Right, Tak? Yes. We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. We have to do this for Sawa-sensei. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah, Akutsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa Sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. But then why did they why kill her? Why would Sawa Sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Ijincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kawana isn't even his real name. Apparently, it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kawana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kawana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ijincho. I haven't been able to contact Kawana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists an address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kuana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. Huh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. Can't. Can't Let's stop, roll, won't talk. stop. I'll stay here. Don't want anyone coming in and breaking Tsukubakun's fingers again. Oh, Finding no. Kawana-san is in your hands for now. Yeah, because you did a really great job stop preventing that from happening last time. <laughs> but I'll give you a pass. They snuck up on you. Um, Dark Demon Devil, thank you for the four months resub. And hey, like a twin dragon, we did unfortunately hit that part. And what's up, Cloud? Um, what Star Wars book? Well, I don't remember exactly which. I mean, the Jedi, uh, the new Jedi Order series, there were two character deaths that upset me a lot but one one more than 
One affected me a lot more. But I can't, you know, I can't say just in case spoilers. But. And stay down. Let's hit it. Used to read the adventures of Han Solo books in high school. I am currently reading the Han Solo trilogy. I think, I don't know if that's the same as what you're talking about, but. Let's go check out where this guy lives. This Kiwanis place? Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. Where am I supposed to go? I thought I couldn't go there because it was like closed off. Huh? What is it? The door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been RK. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. That we know of. Dusty in here. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Kawan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. I need clues to uncover Kiwana's true identity. Hopefully there's something left here. I wonder why... Are they... Is RK looking for something? Because why are they like ransack both of these apartments? I mean, maybe with her there was a struggle, so that's why things are all thrown o all over the place, but Juana okay. wasn't even home. Suspicious. Leftovers from a ramen cup. Would it have killed him to clean up a bit? I'm okay. starting to think this place was a dump even before it got ransacked. Let's not be... Let's not be judgmental <laughs> here. Okay? Hey. That's not what we're here for. So many buckets. What does he use them all for? I guess being a handyman is no picnic. For cleaning? For painting? I don't know. Suspicious. Well, no, because if you're painting, you would you would just use it straight out of the paint can. I don't know. Hey. This area was probably a mess long before RK ever showed up. What the? Have junk, will travel. Is that usual handyman work? Kawana mentioned his ties to the underground. But I get the feeling this kind of work was his bread and butter. Collecting junk, walking pets, fixing pipes, taking any odd job that comes his way. Not so different from us. A handyman, a detective, it's two sides of the same coin. Oh. What the? A little kettle? Uh huh. Does he not? He has a stove. <laughs> a stove that matches this office's interior surprisingly well. Nothing special about it, though. What the? Suspicious. 
suspicious. Is this a computer power cable? There's a mouse here, too. There was a laptop here. RK must have taken it. There's probably a treasure trove of info on it. Then <sighs> RK's got anything of value out of this place already. Come on, don't be emo. Don't be emo talk. Hey. An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. What? With all the gross garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. Think so? Suspicious. Hmm. True. What the? Suspicious. Would this be where Kwana sits? Where the hell is he anyway? Hey. I don't know. Cigarettes. Are these Kiwanas? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. Oh yeah, his vape but maybe pen. he craved the real deal every now and then. Yeah, people do smoke both depending on the situation. We scanned the place, but we were too late. What else can we... Where else can we go to learn more about Kuwana? Yo, hold up, Tuck. We don't have enough on Kuwana to go after him. You sure you want to go back empty-handed? I feel like I checked everything worth looking at. Well, maybe there's more to something you looked at already. Besides, where else are we going to find dirt on Kuwana if we leave? More to something that I looked at already? Was there anything like that in here? Um... The ashtray was the only thing that was out of place. <laughs> Suspicious. Hey. I mean, yeah, it's clean and all, but so what? Could just be freshly empty. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay. And... You think a dusty ashtray is going to get us Kuwana's identity? Let him cook! Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. Am I wrong to press on with this? No. Anything suspicious is worth investigating. Um... We look at the cigarette brand closer. Cigarettes. Kiwana usually smokes e-cigarettes. The ashtray looks virtually unused. What are you getting at? I don't think Kiwana's smoking these cigarettes. Then why keep what you don't smoke? See, we gotta be more thorough. <laughs> hey, look at this lighter. What now? Whoa. A USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Damn. Did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Well, let's go back to Tsukumo. Why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? Before somebody jumps us. Thank God we found something. We've had it with this place. We should get out of here. Yagami does not like the mess. Oh, it got dark. Huh? What's the matter, Tak? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh, yeah? Well, I spoke uh, too soon. Think they're RK? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kiwana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akutsu though. So, he sent the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I could stay cool. Mm -mm. Yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akutsu? There's no point in talking to a dead man. Uh, Here we go. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it, then we're not holding back either. So holding back. Attack me? Yeah! <laughs> 
my god. My health! Where are Soma and Akatsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them. I swear. Liars. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Uh, figured as much. How convenient for you. Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Hmm? Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to Eugene show outside their turf to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. Must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then... Who's the one pulling RK's strings? No idea. I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK's just following orders. And Sawa-sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kuwana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Is it a horror? Then we better get back to Sukumo's. Or is it even beyond him? Hello? What's going on out here? Are you friends of Kuana sans? Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Not his friends. Those guys. Oh, yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kawana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Anytime we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We'd pay him with our daily special. This man and his wife are Kawana's next-door neighbors. Uh, I haven't heard from Kawana since last night. But do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kawana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kuana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's I thought they were going to say Chinatown. survive. <laughs> I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. Then we better get over there, too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering you. Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> don't mention it. Now I'm going to just... What is it? Go back to cowering on the ground. Um, but I guess, what's his name? Kashiwagi? Or Cut, whatever his name is. Probably, probably hasn't let anybody know that he's, he's ex-Yakuza. He's probably kept his, um, identity pretty well hidden. Okay, so let's go to this bar then, in Chinatown. Okay, let's go to that bar. Looks like these guys aren't gonna let us in without a fight. Oh, just kidding. Saved by the cutscene. <laughs> Siren. This is it, Tuck. This is the bar Kuana's relative runs. Hello? Anybody here? The 
this place empty too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with RK about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. What's going on here? Where's the owner? Let's hit it. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Is that is Soma? <gasps> Hi, you've reached Siren? <laughs> Soma, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. <laughs> I don't oh! Dude, fuck this guy! Have I told guy! you what RK stands for yet? I don't oh. Oh. It's red knife. You son of a... Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Mm. Tell me... Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? Uh... I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. Well, I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. Shit, I better I better sit up for this. Something tells me this is not gonna be easy. Oh, but fuck this guy. Oh, purple health bar. I had some extracts, but I don't. Oh, music. Interesting music. The camera and the physics were doing some weird things right there. A 
that's not fair. Tiger stands. I know there's a lot of a lot of things you do with triangle. Ah! Damn, why are you so fast? Well, we, I you're thought we won. scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. You're scrappy. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally. Sawa sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. What the hell are you doing in my bar? Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Sorry, but this will have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! I told... Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find Maybe. it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, You'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, survive in the entertainment district? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go.
Next chapter. Kawana is pursued by RK, the crime ring running Kamarucho. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman, but the search leads to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. The caller offers a lead, one that expires too quick for comfort. Chapter 9, The Weight of Guilt. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. Good call, Clamp. We will have to change the stream title again, huh? Chapter 9. Okay. Survive is in the entertainment district by the river. I have to hurry. Good thing we got our new skateboard. Unfortunately, I would love to hear Yagami sing karaoke. We will have to settle for, <clears throat> um, instead for, um, mm, what's his name? <laughs> From Like a Dragon? Namba? That's the closest we'll get. At least we have that. You had. Ow! Dang! Starving. I'm starting pretty tasty. Thanks. Arigatou Oh, SP gain. Ooh. I didn't realize it was a perk like that. I haven't been paying attention to the food perks. That's a nice one, though. Okay, here we are at Survive. Who's gonna be here? Looks like I found Survive. Yagami-san, glad you could make it. You're the owner of Siren? Yeah. Let's take this to the bar. Follow me. A new face. I 
think. <laughs> so I hear you're a Kamurocho detective. Yeah, and you're a distant relative of Kiwanis. Can I ask your name? No need. This will be the only time we meet. But to Kuwana-kun, I guess you'd call me his uncle-in-law. <laughs> Everyone's got a dumbass uncle in the family. And that's me. After all, I'm ex-Yakuza. Based in Yokohama? Yeah. The Seriyu clan. After I got out, I looked after the shop for 20 years. Till today. You mean Siren, right? What'll happen to it once you've skipped town? Hmm. <laughs> None of your concern. Fair enough. <laughs> Guess you detective types can't help but ask questions. So you two are related. I noticed you didn't mention Kiwana being an alias. Oh. Done your homework, I see. Is this the narrator's voice? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the narrator is Genda, right? The guy in charge of the uh of Genda law firm where Saudi and Hoshino work also. Now that Kuwana Now that the Kuwana secret's out in the open, where should I lead the conversation next? Okay. His real name is Kitakata. His real name's Kitakata. At least, that's what the Kamurocho thugs called him. You're trying to see if I'll give up his name. That's not why I'm here. Okay. Why did you call me exactly? Well, you see, Kuwana-kun wanted me to stop by his office and grab something for him. Such as? A pack of cigarettes with a lighter inside. Thing is, it was gone by the time I got there. Don't you mean a USB stick made to look like a lighter? Let's not beat around the bush here. Say, I figured you'd grabbed it. So of all things, Kawana wanted you to pick this up? Yes. And he prefers to keep that content private. So, if you could just hand that over. Now I'm curious. Care to tell me what's on here? Would you hand it over if I did? No. I'd still need to confirm you told the truth. Can't you tell Kuwana-kun's backed into a corner here? Asking an old man to help was his only choice. Let's be honest. I couldn't take that thing from you if I wanted to. All I can do is appeal to your sense of decency. Well, I've gotta say, that's more persuasive than threats ever would be. But if you really want me to give this up, at least let me see Kuwana. I'd consider that, but he's already long gone. He was ready to cut out at the drop of a hat. So Kuwana's prepared to disappear at any time. In that case, I definitely can't hand over this data. If that's the case, unfortunately, I'll need to hold on to this. A high school teacher was killed by the thugs that went after Kuwana. Her name was Yokosawa. A young woman dedicated to her career. <sighs> I'd met her while investigating the murder of a student teacher. But while trying to get her side of the story, I ended up running into Kiwana outside her apartment. Do you know anything about this woman? I don't. You're really drawing a blank? You don't know anything about criminals coming all the way from Kamrocho just to get a Kiwana? Do you at least know how they're connected to Sawa-sensei? Again, that's a negative. And this flash drive's my only concrete lead? <sighs> if it's so important to Kiwana, he should have come himself, rather than send a middleman. <sighs> Don't be so hard on him. I'm the one who taught him all his tricks. Are you saying Kiwana's ex-Yakuza too? Nah. He was just your average civvy before all this. But, circumstances as they were, he had no choice but to go underground. 
That's when he came to a gene show, and I took him under my wing. I'm the one who suggested the handyman thing. But he took to the underground with real gusto. What do you mean, gusto? I'm not just talking him up. He had good reasons for diving headlong into the shadows. Good reasons? Care to give me one or two? <sighs> You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. That takes care of everything I have to say. Not sure it's such a good idea for me to just let you leave. Thinking about stopping me? Wouldn't be wise. This joint doesn't take kindly to that behavior. That's why this is the safest place in a Jinsho, huh? Yep. And I'm glad your face is the last one I'll see in this city. I can learn more about Kuana with the flash drive. Tsukumo should be able to check for encryption. <sighs> okay. I gotta know. I gotta know what's on the flash drive. forget where the stop to the oh this one it's in commercial district okay i remember that commercial district yagami oh great it's Claw Guy. You were with the Luma, right? They say you brought your little posse from Tokyo. You I couldn't trust an outsider. Posse? Wait, don't tell me you think I'm RK. They're not even close to me. Yagami can't catch a break. Hey, Tesso, you got this all wrong. I don't think he's listening. that has the parries. You gotta time it right first though, before anything works. Watch this. Oh, what? 
I hit left. Dirty lion game. Dirty lion game. I can't see anything. This bush. Get this bush out of here. Oh gosh. God, no! Let's see what you got. Dude, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Get up, Yagami! You're bleeding! Oh god. Come on, man. Who paid you to jump me this time? These Kamurucho douchebags show up, strutting around like they own our city. Then I hear some teacher chick gets killed after a break-in. Fuckers. Someone let him into Ijincho, right? Right? Look, I can see why you're pissed. But you figured coming after me was the answer? Figured I could at least try beating a few out of you. Office visits ain't my style. You've got to appreciate that not everyone plays by gang rules, man. What I don't appreciate is Kamurocho trash. Now why are they here, Yagami? I'd like to find that out myself. But I'll tell you this much. I'm not your enemy. I was first on the scene of that murder. I knew the woman personally. The culprit is RK's leader, a guy named Soma. Shit. You serious? And why is the rest of his crew here with him? A lot of muscle just to ice one lady. They're after a local handyman, Kawana. You know him? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. Why they want him so bad. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Looking into that now. Which is why they're still after me. Not to mention they stabbed my partner. So the more you get in our way, the slower this'll go. Mm. Gotcha. You understand then? He can be reasonable. How's about I make you the deal of a lifetime? Oh? Uh, so long as RK's messing around in my city. I don't mind calling you a brother. Really? Just like that? Oh. Sure. But I get to be Aniki, of course. <laughs> you really think this is selling it? <laughs> what you're missing here is the Liomong never target a brother. So now, if anyone lays a finger on you, the Leo Mong's taking their head. We could definitely Same use that. Same rule for all the ladies here in Ijincho. Anyone gets fresh, they become fresh meat. You with me on that, brother? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Besides, making you a brother is the only way we save face for getting our asses handed to us, you know? Ah, uh, now the truth comes out. 
Anyway, let me know if you get any intel on RK. Especially where that chicken shit Soma might be. Just shoot me a location and it's done. We'll give that teacher her peace. By torturing her to death. Yeah, guess I've got some pretty heavy hitters on my side now, huh? Seems so. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's see if we can find out anything on this USB. Uh, I was just thinking of calling you, Yagamishi. I heard Kaito-san got stabbed at Siren. Is that true, Yagami-san? What the hell happened? Look, I promise I'll fill you in, but right now I really need Tsukumo's help. With what? I found a USB drive at Kawanda's hideout. It was disguised to look like a lighter. We have to know what's on it. So, Kaito-san was attacked by that Soma guy too? Yeah, while we were chasing Kuwana, Soma popped up and got him right in the gut. Almost got me too, to be honest. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? That's true. And right after, I got a call from Kuwana's purported relative, who wanted me to hand over the flash drive. Apparently, what's on it will tell us Kuwana's true identity and goal. When I open it, all I see is one data file. Of what? It's a video. I'll hit play once you guys are all ready. You good? <laughs> Damn, what's on there? I can't take the suspense. Wano went to great lengths to keep this video a secret. What are we about to see? Let's make it full screen. So did I. Come on, Mitsuru. Quit being a little bitch. I told you to take it in the face. Okay, let's do it over again, okay? Suzuki, make sure you're getting this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna really fucking nail him this time. Mayo. Ready when you are. Okay. Get your ass back. Mitsuru. Mitsuru's the, the kid who jumped off the roof, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to punish ya. Punishment! Punishment! Let's hear the punishment song, everybody! Punishment! So, was Kuwana one of the classmates, too? Get ready for... Mitsuru Construction! Stop! You little shit, did you just kick me? Huh? Too late to get tough now, Mitsuru. Show us what you got. Don't struggle now. We want to see. We gotta get this all on camera. Aw, isn't this just the most pathetic side? Oh shit, he's pissing himself. Ew, that's so nasty. <laughs> oh, look at this shit! <laughs> uh, Awful. Just awful. These little shits are the worst. One of them said something about Mitsuru Kusumoto stripping? Yeah, he was Sawa Sensei's classmate. Thirteen years ago, he jumped off the roof of Kurokawa Academy. He's Reiko Kusumoto's son, right? Vice Minister of the Health Ministry? Thirty years old and still in a coma. It seems we've stumbled on private video footage of Mitsuru Kusumoto being bullied. And it was on Kuwana-san's secret flash drive? Why would he have this? I don't know. 
But his uncle said it's our lead to Kawana's real identity and motivation. Huh. Just a moment. This frame gives us a good look at the key player's faces. Why don't we try gleaning what we can from it? Sounds good. Let's dig in. Hopefully we can find what we need in this video. Seems likely, considering it was hidden and sought, off, sought after. Hey. This guy, this bigger guy is acting like the main bully. I've seen this face before. Oh, he's, um, is that Kawaii? If I'm not mistaken, Shinya Kawaii was the bully whose name got out to the public. Yeah. RK was hunting for him in Kamrocha pretty recently, too. I have no doubt the guy in the picture they showed me is the same guy in this video. Once RK came to the conclusion Kawaii had been murdered, they came here to Ijincho, hunting down Kawana for whatever reason. Did Sawa Sensei get mixed up in all this because of Kawaii's case? No, I can't see a connection there yet. If we learned more about Kawana or his past, I'm sure I can make some sense out of this. Hmm. Suspicious. This girl recording the bullying on her cell phone. Someone said her name in the video. Suzuki. There's another familiar face. So it all comes circling back to her, huh? Right. This Suzuki girl has a different name now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, her. <laughs> Suzuki is just her maiden name. 13 years ago, her name changed to Ma Mamiya. Yui Mamiya? Something like that? Yeah, Yui Mamiya. Yui Mamiya. The victim in the Ahara harassment case. Suzuki was her last name before getting married. Sawa Sensei also told me that Mitsuru Kusumoto and Mamiya were classmates 13 years ago. Yep. So we're looking at Yui Mamiya in high school. Oh. Mamiya san, huh? What's she like underneath it all? A bitch. Originally, a nasty bitch. word got around that Shinya Kawaii was the one bullying Mitsuru Kusumoto. After watching this, though, the truth of the matter doesn't quite line up. There were really about 10 bullies involved at the time, and Yui Mamiya was one of them. Yeah. If this video got leaked, Mamiya and the other students in it would be in deep shit. They're living out their lives like nothing happened, despite being the ones who drove a kid into a coma. If word got out, they'd be crucified by the public. Their jobs, their families, their lives would all change for the worse. Uh-huh. <clears throat> this guy's face is familiar somehow. Oh. Uh, I don't think I've seen him. One of the us I don't know people him either. spying on us? Who is he? I think I remember him. I saw him at the crime scene where Mikoshiba's body was. He was with more Kurokawa grads. Mm -hmm. He showed his ID to the Kanagawa detective. I think his name was Akaike. That gives us an interesting perspective, doesn't it? All the people in this bullying video seem to keep popping up around our case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the real question is, why was Kawana the one with the video? What the... Despite jumping off his high school's roof 13 years ago, Mitsuru Kusumoto is still clinging to life. I feel bad for Mitsuru-kun. No one helped him, even with everything he was going through. Thirteen years ago, his mother was still just some nobody working at the Ministry of Health. She seems to have split with her husband and looks after her son on her own now. I don't know all the details, though. Hey, crazy theory, but what if this husband she left was actually Kuwana-san? And maybe he recorded this to secretly check on his son? No, Kawana doesn't look like he could have a 30-year-old kid. Mm -mm. Let's look for other possibilities. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. 2008, 9-17, must be the date. In school year terms, they probably just finished summer break. September 17th, 13 years ago. It's past 4 p.m., so this would be after school. Oh, wait, this is... Got something? 
I just cross-referenced the date Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped. September 17th. Oh, shit. That oh. can only mean this video was recorded very shortly before his suicide attempt. Oh. So this video captures the crucial instance of bullying that drove Mitsuru Kusumoto to attempt suicide. Uh-huh. Man, this is heavy. <sighs> the video may have provided some interesting connections, but we still don't have that crucial link. The link being the reason Kawanasan came to possess this, of course. Right. Kawan is either the one who recorded it himself, or is at least a recipient of the video from the original witness. Kawanasan and Sawa Sensei knew each other somehow, right? Well, then, maybe Sawa Sensei recorded it 13 years ago and then had Kawanasan look into it, as one of his handyman requests. It's possible, but it just feels off. Why is that? Because of what Siren's owner said to me. Okay. You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. He said we'll know Kuana's true identity once we watch the video. But that hasn't been the case so far. Yeah. Uh, what identity could we draw from a secret recording of some bullies? Assuming Kuan is in his early 40s, he would have been about 30, 13 years ago. What if he was a school teacher of the students in the video? In that case, we should consult the yearbook Segura she brought back. The one that was in Sawa Sensei's room? You still have yet to look through it. That's right. Uh, let me go get it. The way you're talking, I assume you've already taken a peek? We have. But, unfortunately, we didn't find Kawanasan's face among the teachers. Maybe the, he was absent? This is the page from Mitsuru Kusumoto's day? class. Both Sawa-sensei and Mami are there, too. So the homeroom teacher was... this guy. Apparently, he witnessed bullies harassing Mitsuru multiple times, yet he would overlook it. All he did was smile and... Tell them not to overdo it. Yeah. It's not Kawana. This is someone else. We checked the rest of the teachers too, but never spotted Kawana-san. Mitsuru Kusumoto. This picture doesn't look like it was shot for a yearbook. Correct. He was most likely already in a coma when photo time rolled around. Mm -hmm. Keep it together. Mitsuru Kusumoto attempted suicide in September, so the other photos in here must have been taken after that. Actually, with that in mind, I can tell just how forced their smiles are in these pictures. Sawa Sensei isn't smiling at all in this. Huh. She did mention she blew off her class reunion. In fact, she hadn't kept in touch with her classmates at all. No surprise there. Mitsuru-kun would be bound to come up at some point. This is Yui Suzuki. She's definitely one of the girls in the video. She's and smiling. another classmate involved with Mitsuru Kusumoto. Seems like a bunch of the students on this page were in the video, huh? Yeah, but... I can't find Shinya Kawai in here. Oh... Yeah, you're right. He's not in there. If I'm not mistaken, Kawai left the school once he started catching flack for being Mitsuru-kun's bully. At least, that's what I read online. No real evidence yet, but it definitely sounds like how it would have played out. But the truth is, there were more bullies who should have seen consequences besides Kawai. Let's look at this yearbook a bit more. Does anything stick out as strange? Where's this teacher? Does he look familiar? The homeroom teacher at the time just looked like... Just looked the other way, telling them not to overdo it. I know that thinks to Sawa Sensei. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, 
Don't overdo it. But afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. Hold on. If he was dismissed... You figure something out? The homeroom teacher at the time of the incident did take some flack. He got forced out of teaching. Yeah? What of it? If that's the case, couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one? I see. That definitely sounds likely. Oh. Let me search for the original teacher's name. There's a chance he won't be the same guy in the yearbook. Just give me a sec. Is it Kitakata? Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. You were right. It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. Kitakata? Huh? Don't tell me that's... His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? That's Kawana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So, Kuwana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata-sensei from 13 years ago. It's Kawana. That's him, all right. Yeah. Not only that, Sawa-sensei was part of this class, which makes Kawana her homeroom so teacher, too. So he's the one who told them not this to overdo it? This is the link it? we've been looking for. And his student was murdered. Everything is clicked into place. Kawana-san was the linchpin of this case. So, 13 years ago, Yuki Takata left teaching behind after Mitsuru-kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground, had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? What could that have been? Wanna stop teaching because a student of his attempted suicide. What was he after when he went underground? To be the world's greatest handyman, to become an underground big shot, to get revenge on the bullies. <sighs> I want to try to like think of everything that we know and all the people involved, but I don't even know where I would start. To get revenge on the bullies. To get revenge on the bullies. Maybe Kawana blames the fact that he had to quit teaching on the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Wait a minute. So you're saying that somebody, a student of his, tried to commit suicide because of bullying, but... Kuwana is mad that they that he can't teach anymore. That's why he's mad at the bullies. There's no way. There's no way. Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. Huh. You think one of them was Kuwana-san? I wouldn't rule it out. RK might have learned of Kuwana's involvement while searching for Kawaii. Maybe they came to a gene show so they could get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. W hold up. Individuals who were his acquaintances? Meaning more people besides Kuwana-san, right? Could that mean... You got it. If they knew Kawaii somehow, the evidence we'd, we've gathered so far should give us a clue. The evidence we've gathered so far should have clues on who knew Kawaii. Well, if he was their homeroom teacher, then the students would know him. We already know this. Oh, the students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawaii. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Yeah, why? Huh. Maybe Kawana asked for their help? No. He forced them to. What makes you say that? Hmm? Well, Kawana had this on a secret flash drive, right? Oh, but to blackmail? anyone in this video, it would be their worst nightmare for it to show up now. If it did, 
It'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yep, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kawana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kawai. <sighs> you think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawai was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawai was murdered. No body's been recovered yet, either. Okay, hang on. I'm barely keeping up with this. Same. So yeah. yeah. It's a bunch of what-ifs stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who'd that be? Someone in the video. Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. If she was involved with Kawai's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Ijincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man. What the hell is that guy's deal? Mikoshiba and Sawa-sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance. Kawana's most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see Yui Mamiya tomorrow. You should accompany him, Sugiyoroshi. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear, with Kaito-san out of commission, I'm sure Yagami-shi could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Sukumo-kun. I'm cool with whatever. Thanks for lending him out, Sukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey, hey. Don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. I know. We fought side by side a lot of times. <sighs> Jesus. I am... This... I... This is so confusing. We have all these different things that, like... You can kind of see how they could be connected, but not exactly how. Mikoshiba, Ahara, Yui Mamiya. And then the, the, the kid in the coma. Man. I just... I don't know, man. Kawaii. Wana. So I get... I mean, Soma... Soma is just working for somebody. So who is... So, who is Soma answering to looking for Kawaii looking for Kuana silenced um Sawa sensei try to silence or get after Kuana's uncle well maybe just to find Kuana 